Thank you for coming. Uh, I came this place very many times to perform with my um, fellow musicians, but this is first time uh, to have my solo show here, so I'm very grateful and happy. Uh, before uh, playing whole program, I would like to introduce um, my instrument and play my uh, solo piece shortly, and you can hear what uh, traditional Korean pity sounds like, and you can also hear contemporary music uh, with uh, my fellow musicians interwoven. So first piece I'm going to play a uh, Korean folk tune. It is called 정선 아리랑. So 정선 is the name of the region, and 아리랑 is the uh, representative Korean folk song. So this tune is a very old song uh, from East Coast, South Korea, and uh, it is very um, uh, free melody, and uh, there are many versions of uh, Arirang, but I play um, this, um, my version of Arirang today, and hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Uh, for the next piece, um, I'm going to invite um, string player. Uh, this is trio for Piri, uh, Korean wind, and violin and cello. So I'm going to invite uh, Keiko uh, for violin and Yi Jin for cello. Please come, <laughs> welcome. I also want to introduce a composer. This is um, composed by William David Cooper. We premiered this piece a few years ago in Boston, and uh, it's very happy to have uh, composer William David Cooper, who traveled from Boston today for this concert. Uh, thank you for coming, and uh, it would be great to hear about the piece um, where is William? Okay. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you so much, and thank you, Carmen. Um, as she said, I'm Will Cooper, and uh, I wrote this trio for Peary and Strings in 2019. Um, I had the great fortune of meeting Gaman uh, during my graduate studies in California back in 2014. Uh, and she gave a presentation on Korean traditional music and the Peary in particular. And I just was blown away by her artistry and fell in love with the instrument. Um, so I was thrilled when I, the opportunity came up to write this piece. Uh, it's in two movements. The first movement is really kind of a impromptu for uh, for Peary, it features the Peary and the string sounds sort of emerge out of the sound of the Peary and kind of stay in the background for the most part. In the second movement, uh, it's a variation set and the string players start to sort of take on an equal uh, participatory role with the Peary. And some themes from the first movement come back at the end of the second movement in a new context. So I'd like to thank the players and thank you all for coming. Thank you. 
So I'm glad to introduce more musicians uh, here. So next piece is uh, Mudang for PD and String Quartet. So we have uh, Heyoung and Andy uh, joining us. Uh, this music was uh, premiered uh, 2014, a uh, long time ago, and I uh, played this piece uh, multiple times with string quartet, uh, also with cello. So this is um, yeah one of my favorite music uh, I played a lot. Uh, I would like to introduce composer Ted. Um, thank you for coming. And yeah, please. <laughs> Thanks. Um, about 10 years ago, I made a number of trips to South Korea when I was working at the New York Philharmonic. And I began to hear music performed by traditional Korean instruments, gugak instruments as they're called. Gugak refers broadly to folk traditions in Korea, of which there are many. I began to be fascinated by this music and begin to think, you know, it's so different from what I wrote and from what I listened to that like if I really learned something about it, how might it change me? And so, you know, I, I was just getting to that point when I was fortunate to meet Gamin here in New York, um, who became like my tutor in Gugak music. We agreed to work together on, on the piece that you're about to hear that was the result. Um, essentially, this piece is my take, um, an attempt to respond to the form known as Sancho, which is um, part of a gugak form for solo instrument accompanied by a drum called the janggu, just a drum accompanying a solo instrument. So right away, you can see it's in a completely different musical world than like a violin sonata, right? Um, so the... the, the, the um, Sanjo form is a succession of sections, almost like movements, but they flow together um, with increasing tempo, right? And each has a certain rhythmic uh, uh, form that it's supposed to follow. So I, I was, you know, I didn't follow this. I wasn't trying to write Sanjo, right? I'm in no position to write Sanjo, but I was responding to it out of my own musical mm -hmm. language and letting it change my musical language. And it was only when the piece was completed um, with all these sections to get faster and faster and faster um, that, and I was thinking about a title that I realized that it really was kind of a mystical piece, that, that it's a searching kind of a, a piece and represents to, I guess it comes somewhat out of how my approach to this music that's so different from mine, you know, just took me to a different kind of um, space. And so we came up with the title Mudang, which means female shaman, okay? So it's kind of like there's a spirit guide in this piece starting very slowly and like an, an incantation, an invocation, and moving on to more and more frenetic activity. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.
Because I don't see the program uh, uh, today, so I just want to say this is my composition. Uh, and you saw beautiful painting uh, in the back that is painted by Hwan Ki Kim, Korean um, abstract painter, very pioneering um, artist who, who lived in New York for many uh, decades. Uh, this piece was originally performed by my solo uh, improvisation and music many years ago, but uh, this year, yeah, I arranged it and we had performance uh, with string quartet, so this is um, second time uh, performing in New York with interwoven uh, ensemble, which is, um, I want to pass microphone to Keiko, and, and Keiko is a founder of interwoven ensemble, and I joined ensemble last year during pandemic, and we have been uh, doing performing, um, yeah, many different places, and we are collecting um, more interesting pieces. So it has been really a uh, wonderful journey with Interwoven. Um, next piece is um, String Quartet, and I would like to pass the microphone to Keiko. Thank you. We're gonna give coming a, a minute of break because she's been going nonstop. Um, as she introduced, uh, my name is Keiko Tokunaga. I am the founder of Interwoven, which is an intercultural ensemble whose mission is to perform, commission, and record uh, contemporary pieces that interlaces <laughs> the sound of the East and the West, as well as old and new. Thank you. And uh, so today we, are we brought a string quartet by my friend Nathan Schramm, who is a Grammy-winning violist, but also a composer. And he visits Korea pretty much every year, well, not during the pandemic, but he visits there every year as a part of this um, music festival that his friends host. And he visited this historic temple called Wojonsa. Um, I apologize for my... Um, pronunciation because I, I don't speak Korean, I'm actually Japanese. But Wojonsa is this beautiful architecture that he visited. And I suppose he, uh, as he was looking at the temple, he heard some chanting and some sacred music, uh, which I believe is probably Gugak. And he was so inspired by how powerful, how sacred, and how you know um, passionate the sound that he uh, absolutely needed to write this piece. And he originally wrote it for uh, String Sextet because that's, uh, that was the band they were there, uh, that was the band that they um, went as, but then he rearranged it for String Quartet. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy our performance of Ojonsa String Quartet by Nathan Schramm. Thank you.
We have two more pieces, and I'm going to play different instrument. Uh, this instrument is uh, called Taepyeongso. Uh, it is supposed to perform outdoor usually uh, for a farmer's band or marching, so it uh, sounds pretty loud. But Yunji, composer, uh, bravely brought this instrument for chamber music. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the title is Enjoy is Broken. And uh, after the piece, Yunji uh, will introduce um, her piece. Thank you.
Thank you so much, uh, Gavin and Interwoven String Quartet. So uh, you just heard uh, my piece uh, called Angels Broken. Uh, this piece is inspired by uh, Silence Broken, written by Dajil Gisun uh, Kim. And also, uh, you just uh, heard the voices of the Korean comfort woman. Uh, and, um, in 2007, uh, I visited the sharing house uh, where the Korean comfort woman um, was living there, and then I visited them. Um, at the time, I had a plan to compose music for them, but after I visited them, I changed my mind, and I gave up on the project. In 2019, uh, Gamin and uh, Music United us from uh, Brandeis University uh, asking me to write about um, Korean Comfort Woman again, I thought, you know, this is my destiny to compose for them. Uh, I think, I don't think I can express what they, what they uh, had gone through or, you know, what their emotions could be. Uh, I can't fathom um, what they have gone through, but um, maybe I can start to work on a project that I can um, document um, their voices, uh, and then hopefully they can live as well. Um, this the field recording is provided by uh, a producer, Ha Moon Ho, from Daegu NBC uh, 
the broadcasting company, um, and also uh, this piece has three sections. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having stage fright here a little bit. <laughs> so <laughs> the first section with the Taepyeong, so what you heard was uh, dream. So I, I you know, Taepyeong so has a very particular timbre, so I wanted to uh, picture maybe, you know, something that can be connected to uh, the image of a Korean comfort woman. And then in the second section, uh, you heard uh, the voice of Park ok um, So she sang uh, the song called Virgin Diary, uh, which was a popular song in 1937. And then the last section, you heard Changgu. Uh, it's called Jinyangjo, and which is the slowest uh, Changdan, which is uh, also rhythmic cycle in Korean music, already explained well you know, previously. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, the last section is kind of, you know, uh, in terms of the rhythm is very slow, but I composed the music uh, with uh, some type of witty and also energetic uh, gestures because I hope their life um, can continue uh, for, uh, forever because in fact, in reality, uh, they are they are passing away, so maybe you know, um, already two or three, uh, I think, um, survivors are now. You know, um, they are staying in the sh uh, at the sharing house. So hopefully, you know, uh, I can continue this project to uh, to be part of um, their lives. Thank you so much. We have uh, one last piece, uh, which is called Tongji. It's my composition and still work in progress, but I'm very happy to play with uh, amazing musicians here. And thank you so much for coming. And uh, we will do more uh, interesting projects in the future, so stay tuned. Uh, the title, Nong, come from um, my uh, album title, which is released 2020 right after pandemic. Uh, I recorded some music, uh, the first piece and, and um, second piece uh, or in, in the album. And if you are interested in, check it out. I didn't bring CD today, but you can search online, Kamin's album, Nong. And um, yeah, I will um, see you guys some other uh, performance and I hope to play music again with interval musicians, amazing musicians. Thank you so much and hope you enjoy last piece, Tongshi. Thank you so much. Thank you. 